It is no secret that Pendulum is the best deck. But there is many secrets that make Pendulum the best deck. So if you wanted all those secrets, you come to the right place, baby. Let's go. If you play Pendulums, you got to stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to be showing you guys a secret that no one knows and show you how it works in a game on Rated. And it's a secret that not many people are understanding of right now. And for a dueling book, it's going to be incredibly good for you. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 32,000 subscribers. 32K strong, baby. So smash the subscribe button. And lastly, if you guys want to get some beautiful Pendulum custom playmats, our Joker Karen playmats are unfortunately sold out. But I've restocked TripGaming.com with two Electromite cloth playmats as well as Triff Electro cloth playmats. So get yours ASAP before they sell out as well. So with that being said, so let's go, baby. Time to show you guys the true power of Pendulums when you know how to play Pendulums properly. <laughs> Let's get it. So, first and foremost here, this is game three of a rated match. I want to show you guys the trick firsthand rather than just like randomly tell you what it is. So you can see just how important it is. So you see my hand, it kind of looks like it loses to Ash, right? Like Ash will just lose on the Servant of Endymion. Like I said, guys, stay tuned till the end. It's very important. You must know this. At least for a while, everything's an online game, online duels. So we're going to go, you know, we're going to summon Blue Boy. We're going to try and resolve the Servant. Uh, so we're going to Knowledge here. We're gonna uh, just activate the Mighty Master. I'm gonna activate Servant. Obviously, gonna Ash Blossom the Servant, right? So now things are looking very bad. Things are looking like very bad. I'm like, all right, what can I possibly do? Well, I'm gonna summon Jackal, right? I'm gonna pen summon one Jackal. I'm gonna activate both three stages. I want Jackal to hold counters so I can use Mighty Master on it. I'm gonna use one of the restage on the Blue Boy and Confit to go into Link 2. Now I got a Crowley. Now uh, I'm gonna go into another restage. And Restage is going to bring out Blue Boy. Uh, now, at this point, I'm going to go Blue Boy and Crowley into Selene. Selene is now going to hold a bunch of counters. And I'm going to use Mighty Master to pop my Restage to get right hand. Now, what the trick is, is very simple. This is the trick. On Dueling Book, they changed the rules. So when you play on Dueling Book right now, this is so important. I can't stress it enough. You can't be playing on Rated without knowing this trick. Dueling Book goes by OCG rules. And there is a new ruling that if you Ash Blossom the Servant of Endymion, you can Ash Blossom, you can Servant again. This does not hold true in real life TCG. So to all my Americans, Canadians, Europeans, it doesn't work. But Dueling Book abides by different rules so we can activate Servant again. If I didn't know that, I was getting destroyed by this Dino deck with double miscellaneous and terraforming. But you can use Servant again. If you get Ash Blossom on Dueling Book, this is very important. I can't stress that enough. Because now I'm going to be able to Vortex Dragon Absolute Combos. And I'm going to get a free Mascarena. I'm going to use Selene Effect to summon up Blue Boy. I'm going to get a free Mascarena. And I wouldn't have done that if I didn't know this trick. That's why we watch Trip Gaming, baby. So you can know these stuff. Most of you probably already know this. But you cannot do this in TCG. But you could do this on Dueling Book. Very, very important. So remember that. You can use Servant of Endymion. If you get Ash Blossom on it, only on Dueling Book, but not in TCG tournaments. Anyways, we're going to continue with the rest of our board. And we're going to end up with some crazy, dis unbreakable board here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven negates. Sorry, six negates. Nothing new here. Versus five cards. Bro, you stand no chance. So we're going to continue to obliterate him, as you know, obviously, without question. So, uh, was, was that possible? Was that possible? Without knowing that I can, without knowing that special secret that not many people know, it was not possible. If I couldn't servant there to bring out the reflection, I probably lost this match. But I understand you can do this in TCG, but dueling book, we're gonna be doing a dueling book for another few months at least, another six months at least. So until events come back to normal, then we must take advantage of this as often and quick as we can. So when you guys play in rated, don't forget on dueling book rated, uh, you can use Servant of Endymion twice. Even if it gets Ash Blossom. That's it for the actual uh, trick. Now I'm going to show you guys the updated deck profile that I'm using to obliterate our opponents. Very similar deck profile to as I've been using lately. Why? Because it's incredible. Why mess with greatness? Again, I'm going to stress this thousands of times. You need to play without question. You need to play these seven and triple up Doctor with no question about it. 
It's kind of like you draw one and you just win. Imagine that how we just had without Servant. It kind of like really sucked, you know? Uh, you want one of the, yeah, Doctor, in my eyes, is the same thing as Servant. It accomplishes a very similar objective and goal. Uh, six of these negates. A bunch of extenders to resolve Crawley as many times as you want. Desires, double blue boy, double uh, secret. Uh, I'm gonna stress this enough. You need double blue boy to resolve Crowley through extenders and hand traps. Uh, triple lord, knowledge, triple mastery. These. One thing I want to uh, let you guys know I did not put this in because I understand it's extremely expensive. But if you guys have tactical talents, it's very good in pendulums simply because it's a spell card. So if you guys have tactical talents and it's not officially out yet, so I don't want to add this in, I would put in three tactical talents. Uh, so if you read tactical talent, uh, like it, it, it's it's very good for a spell card. It's not, it is a little bit overrated, right? It is a little bit overrated. Like you can arguably say Dark Hole is better, arguably, because whether they activate Monster Card or not, you just destroy them. And going first, you don't really want to use tactical talents, uh, more so for going second. But it is 100% doable. You could take, uh, you could actually take out all Dark Rulers. You could put triple tactical talents, and because pendulums go are incredible going second, uh, tactical talents is just a card you throw in going second all the time. You can probably put in triple phantasmin going second as well, and decks that link. Obviously not against Zexel decks, but you know for the decks that it's good against. So I'll probably put something like this. I think this looks like a really good, uh, really good side deck right now. But again, you got to keep in mind tactical talents is not even legal, so I you don't really want to put that in there. Uh, when Forbidden Droplet comes out, I personally would not play it because. You have to get rid of a monster, and you don't want to like, go neg one for pendulums. You would like to keep your cards. I'm continuously going to keep the restage engine. It's remarkable. I Every time I take it out, I regret it. It's the fact that you can make Crowley for for free. Any level one turns Crowley. It's so good. It's the glue of the deck. Uh, but that's the biggest difference is here. I'm going to continue saying you need Saryuja and Relinquish Anima with restage. Uh, Triple Chalice and Dino Wrestler feels enough against Zexel. I'm telling you guys, Zexel deck is a lot easier than you think it is. These aren't the only outs to it. Abductor, in my eyes, is also an out to Zexel. Uh, Time Gazer is an out to Zexel. Uh, any monster uh, that's 1200, 1100 or more attack is an out. Because you, you will survive two turns and you just enter Battle Base and kill it. And or, if or if they're playing pure Numeron, you just set a card. Set, 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 set. Don't kill their Zexel. Because as long as the Zexel remains on board, then they can uh, cannot Numeron Calling. But that's it for this. I'm really liking the list right now. I'm going to let you guys know how Tactical Talents works in Pendulums. Uh, I would not main deck it. Perhaps, maybe in the future we can main deck it, but it's a very expensive card. So as of right now, I'm not saying you need to play it. And Dark Ruler itself is arguably just way better. It just stops everything, right? But the, the Tactical Talents has a cool little part about it that you can throw it in first or second. What if a deck's playing 15 hand traps? Actually, Tactical Talents draw two cards. It's like, even if they ask you desires, you're drawing two anyways, you know? Especially in a dueling book, Tactical Talents could be really good because for one, it only costs you uh, zero cents. And for two, you could literally just act it, well, use it as another spell for the Servant of Endymion. So until Yu-Gi-Oh! actually comes back to normal, uh, Tactical Talents could probably be good like online, but uh, I would not recommend dropping like whoever knows how much money it is uh, on Tactical Talents. You might as well just not do that like <laughs> even if you have all the money like unless you already have them laying around you might as well play them but they're not like overly broken to be honest they are they are overrated uh through tactical talents anyways that's the video guys i hope you guys like the deck profile and the comment tutorial don't forget to use servant of endemian twice if possible and you guys want to le learn more pendulum tricks we have a bunch of it on my pendulum trading down below so go check it out i'll be posting another it'll be a pendulum duel today on our patreon it's going to be amazing. And lastly, you already know, if you guys aren't playing on a Trip Gaming Playmat, you got to do so. They're the best in the game. And I'm not even just being cocky about it. Even though best deck, best mat. You already know. Pen best deck, pen best mat. I hope you guys like the video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Peace.